Valparaiso looking to score. Get back in the game. Quarterback, Karan Tyler. He's rushing. It's his first. Oh, my goodness. He's flying. He's spinning. He's in the end zone. It's his first career start, his first career rushing touchdown, and it was unbelievable. Just went helicopter blade mode on top of a bunch of heads. Great job by the referee there. More officials in this show later. Look at that. Just up top, bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. Number 20, he thought he got the stop. He started celebrating. He's not even looking behind him. That's a touchdown. Now, that's something you missed that you never planned on watching. And this is everything you missed that you never planned on watching. And today's episode is brought to you by DraftKings Sportsbook. For the second time ever here on Things You Missed, we're going to blind soccer. The Paralympic Games, Argentina versus Brazil. Winner goes on to the gold medal game tied at zero and then into PKs tied after the first two PKs. You see that guy? He's banging. He's banging the bar, the goal. So that lets the kicker know that's one post and here's the other post. So they hear the noise, they feel the, the rumblings, and now he's behind the net yelling. And Argentina has the kick. Now Brazil has won gold at every Olympic Games, Paralympic Games, since this sport was introduced. They had not only always won gold, Brazil's blind soccer team has never lost a game in their Paralympic history. And that's what Argentina is trying to do. And that helps them out. The quick shot, the celebration, the guy banging the post. Oh, yeah. I love that. That seems so unnecessary that he has to run out onto the field. Oh, yeah. Just to celebrate. And that's what he's saying, right? That's what he's saying there. He's got, he could do this behind the goal easily. They're blind. They don't know where he's going. Now Brazil counters up top. Yes, 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 yes. And he's excited and he's dancing. Now they're all different uh, levels of blind. So they wear the blackout goggles to make sure they're all 100% impaired. Besides the goalies, I guess they get to be whatever they are. Ooh, Argentina misses that one. Now Brazil, if they score, I think they win. I don't, oh, but a great save by the Argentina. Keep it, aggressive claps, aggressive claps, aggressive claps in the crowd. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Brazil does not want to lose. Argentina, he's got his foot on the ball, lefty, bottom right. How do you know if you score? Do you just wait till like if you hear your team yelling, I guess? Now, okay, Brazil, he's also going foot on the ball, switches to his left, back to his right. That seems dicey. And bottom right again, he scores. Flags are waving. Brazil's got it. They're not going to lose their streak. Argentina, quick shot. Bottom right. And our guy came out again to celebrate. That's kind of just what he does. Look, comes around the net screaming, oh, yeah. Didn't go as far out that time. So now Brazil needs to score. Otherwise, they lose and Argentina advances and he hits the upright. Argentina with the upset. How about that? The last dude to score for Argentina, Osvaldo Fernandez. This is his first ever time playing in the Paralympic Games. And he had some awesome quotes about what he was feeling walking up and thinking about his family and the cancer he just overcome and all his loved ones, and so he just broke down and cried, and it's a beautiful thing. And moving on to women's volleyball, we got Georgia Southern versus Clemson. Georgia Southern has never beat Clemson, and this rally goes on for longer than you would guess. If I was to ask you to guess right now, you would guess shorter than what it actually is, all of you, collectively. And we got, okay, so up, one, bam, dig. Oh, and this is the play of the day by Reagan Barth into the chairs. I did a breakdown on a girl that went into the table uh, like three years ago or two years ago, and she's back in the action. They're, oh, yeah. Lombera's just helping out. Okay, here's Reagan up and over. See, it's still going. You guys all would have guessed wrong. Still going. Is this the final point? Blocked. Oh, what a save there. It's still going. And that one, oh, that one is down. Clemson wins the point. But but did they? Because what Reagan did going into the chair there, you know, blowing the mascot's mind. Look at the mascot. Look at this bird. Oh, probably talked. Probably made hum human words. And that's illegal. So you got to watch out. But it wasn't all for naught. Georgia Southern goes on to win and beat Clemson for the first time 
ever. Good for them. Happy for them. And as I said, this episode of Things You Miss is brought to you by DraftKings Sportsbook. They're all about the touchdown right now. They are the touchdown kings. DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sportsbook partner of the NFL right now. All new customers who bet just $5 will instantly get 215 bonus bets plus one month of NFL Plus Premium. That's something to celebrate. So download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use promo code MIST and bet just $5 on any wager and get 250 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code MIST only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Let's get back into it. Let's take in some baseball. The Lions versus the Giants in the KBO. I said there was going to be more officiating. You guys have to be the umpire here, okay? And live time says safe. Now, I'm going to show it to you again. I'm going to show it. They say review. Yeah, they're like, review that. Coach is like, mini review. He doesn't really believe in his players, but like, yep, mini review. Okay, yeah. Now, here it is in live time. What do you guys have at home? What's your call? Now, here is the slowest slow-mo replay. And what do you got there? When I saw this replay, it's safe. Great call, blue. And then they show some more angles. And then they show this one. And I'm thinking, ooh, okay. That's the glove going backwards now. And then I'm going forwards. That's the glove touching right there. And is his foot touching? I don't know. Now, if this was Major League Baseball, I would bet my I was going to say life but maybe not. I'd bet a lot that they would not overturn this. The call on the field was safe. If this was MLB, they would be like that's not conclusive. We don't know without a certain uh a certain shadow of a doubt. Whatever the phrases they say. But this is the KBO and that was enough for them to say, "Yep, sorry, we're wrong. He's out." Kind of crazy, right? Maybe they got, I think they got it right. If the glove is touching there and the foot's not down, I just can't believe they overturned that. Now go edit your comment and and write, I was wrong or I was right. And and be proud or be ashamed, whichever way it went. Final highlight, we're going to the AFL Aussie football. And this is how their playoff system works. So we're looking at that very top game. It's the one versus the four, Sydney Swans versus Greater Western Sydney Giants, a Sydney Derby. The winner goes all the way to the semifinal. The loser goes to the quarterfinal. Uh, that's the system. And then the, the so the top four teams kind of get double elimination. And then the five, seven, six, and eight teams, as soon as if they lose game one, they're done. I'm a fan of this system because it really rewards you being in that top. So anyway, we got the Swans and the Giants matching off. They're all tied up at 82 apiece with two minutes left, but... A Marty pushes one through the uprights. Come on! They go crazy. That's the play. Now, here, I'll break it down for you because actually, I like it. Uh, so that ball is loose, right? It's a giant game of hot potato. He boots it ahead. That dude can't come up with it. Cannot come up with it through his hands. And then you got our guy, Joel Amarty. He's in the center of screen right now. He kind of sees that he's got a teammate that's going to get that ball. So he's going to disrupt this dude and just throw a shoulder into him, block him a little, all right? Now this guy, I think Golden is his name, or maybe it's Papley, Tom Papley. He has the ball, and he's going to do a little deke. He's not looking at a Marty at all. He's looking at number 17, fakes the toss. I don't know how much that worked, but it could have helped him, and then goes to a Marty, and look, they're celebrating behind him before he even kicks it. And they're celebrating before it even goes in. And this is the best part. I love AFL officials because they do this thing. And it's awesome. But look at this dude. Just strikes a pose. He's not taking his eye off that thing. Right over his head. He's going to get beautiful on him. That is modeling. Look at this. Yup. Great view. And then the officials, they throw it way in the sky. You know, killing clock. Three seconds left. Two seconds left. The Swans. When they were trailing, entering every quarter, trailed by 27 points multiple times in the second and third quarter before making their comeback. So congratulations to them. Congratulations to you. And look at this old official. Look at him. 
just for fun. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing. If you do that, share it with a friend. Request stuff for next week. Fan of the week. Make your decision. Make your choice. Make it proudly. Thanks. Goodbye. Forever.